Hi, I'm Julian Frost, N3JF, your ham radio sensei. Onegaishimasu. Ham Radio Outlook recently attended the ARRL Pacific Division Ham Radio Convention, otherwise known as Pacificon. During the show, I asked some of the vendors to talk about their products. In this video, I spoke with Bob Greenberg, W2CYK of RFinder, and asked him to tell us about his product, the RFinder B1 Plus. Hey everybody, I am Bob, W2CYK from RFinder, and I've come all the way across the country to Pacificon to come say hi to every, all my friends here on the West Coast. And um, we're showing today actually the new RFinder uh, B1 Plus. Uh, the new RFinder B1 Plus is the same as a B1, only it's got some additional features, it's got a slightly faster processor in it, and it has uh, the ability to um, charge over uh, USB Quick Quick Charge 3.0, so directly without um, using the cradle, it will plug right into a USB-C with Quick Charge 3.0 and charge directly. Um, this radio is the only DMR radio on Earth that never needs a code plug. So if we take a look here, I'm located in uh, San Ramon, this is our lat lawn, and we can see the machines around us in the list. And this list updates as you move through uh, uh, around the Earth. So no matter where you land, if you go to Europe, if you go to Israel, if you go to Dallas, if you go to, where are we again? San Ramon. Um, if you go to, it uh, doesn't matter, it just works. Um, uh, we do have some problems in, uh, uh, in uh, central China because there's no machines there. But uh, other than that, anywhere on earth that there are machines, you can, uh, you can get on them uh, with DMR or FM on two meters and 440. This is also a full-blown Android cell phone. So you can stick a SIM card in it, and it'll get its own phone number, it'll get access to the internet. And what you can use that for is if you want to update the data, uh, normally you can preload the data so that it works without a SIM card, but if you're traveling around and you want it to update as you're going along, or the new feature that it has um, also is uh, radio over IP. So it'll actually talk DMR to the DMR network directly over IP from the device, with no hotspot. So what does that mean? Well, if I want to get onto DMR and I don't have a hotspot or a repeater nearby, all I got to do is turn on one button. I touch the IP button right here, boom, and you can see we're already starting to receive the signal from uh, uh, Martin in, uh, uh, where was he? I lost him. Uh, LU3AMF. So, um, Pretty straightforward. So single button click, and there you go. And you can see, we can see their uh, DMR, LES, and everything. Um, if you touch the um, call sign, it gives a call sign lookup, show you who they are. Um, if you touch the last button, oops, it shows you all the contacts that you've seen come through uh, DMR. Um, if uh, uh, over here, it's got uh, a promiscuous button on on uh, RF or uh, on IP. It has multi RX, so you can go into it and tell it what channels you want it to listen to. So let's say I want to put in 3100, and I want to listen to 91, and I want to listen to 31770, the R Finder channel. Oops. I just put them in, I say close, and it goes into, uh, into uh, um, IP multi-receive mode where it receives all those channels uh, one at a time, not, not at the same time, but one at a time. Um, and then what you do when you want to switch, you just hit the switch button and it switches the trans transmitter and receiver straight over to, uh, to that channel. So uh, very, very easy to use for uh, DMR or FM, anywhere on Earth, never needs to be programmed, the R-Finder, B1+.